All right, Panthers, 5-3 and three take on the Packers at 7-2. and two. This game's in Green Bay. The Packers, 5.5-point favorites and a 47.5-point over-under. It was a bad game last week for Green Bay, compounded by the fact that and our, our resident Al Borland Packer fan d- posted yesterday, <laughs> how <laughs> did we get our butts kicked by uh, this Chargers team that we saw on the field last night? This is the NFL, baby. Any you, week, you, you know? ain't no Raiders. Yeah, Packers. you ain't no, you ain't no Raiders, Al. <laughs> How does that make you feel? <laughs> uh, but what do we think takes place in this game? The Packers twenty-six point implied point total, twenty for the Panthers. Kyle Kyle Allen looks to be the quarterback rest of the season, obviously for the Panthers. Uh, this is what they've got to go on. They have Christian McCaffrey, dot dot dot. The rest, McCaffrey's going out there, but. What do you expect from the Panthers' offense, and are there other weapons that you can count on? Yeah, so I, I think the Panthers, uh, I you know, when I look at the, the game as a whole and try to project what I think the is going the outcome is going to be, I, th- I think the, the Packers are going to slap the Panthers around here. I think coming off of that atrocious game last week, they're going to be up for this matchup, and, uh, you know, they're, they're pretty good against the pass. I don't think Kyle Allen – and Curtis Samuel and uh, DJ Moore are the guys that are really going to crush him. Now, Christian McCaffrey, obviously, he's going to be great. Right. This is the weakness of the Packers' defense is their running game. So, you know, if they can pound the rock a ton and stay close in this game, m- maybe I'm wrong. But I, I do think on the flip side that Aaron Rodgers is going to have a very good game. You know, he is much better at home in Lambeau. You and at, in the in this year, yes, he's a much better quarterback this year than he has been in a while. Highest yards per attempt since 2014. Yep. And to speak quickly to the wide receivers, I DJ Moore is interesting. I mean, the last four weeks, eight targets, ten, nine, ten, and he's been solid for fantasy. He hasn't scored in that time, but he's getting the target volume. He's a first round pick. He's the go to guy for Kyle Allen. So DJ Moore is at least. Interesting to me as a, as a wide receiver three player. Sure, he's he's been top twenty four three of the, the last four games, so that that speaks to that. Any starting wideouts you're interested in on Green Bay outside of Devontae Adams? Just Adams, and then Aaron Jones, my start of the week. Think he bounces back, and Jamal Williams could have an opportunity against the twenty eighth ranked Panthers defense in terms of points given up to the running back position. Williams could keep it going. Uh, would potentially need you know another touchdown like he's been. Pulling That's, in the last four weeks. He's just been a touchdown machine. You get down near the goal line. and it, But the, the reality is whoever the back is has been pretty successful getting those touchdowns. All right. And then uh, Greg Olson or Jimmy Graham in this game? Who do you like more? I'm going to go with Greg Olson. Uh, the, the Packers have not been very good against tight ends. They're, they're 26, giving up 11.7 fantasy points per game. And, you know, I think I'm done. Those, I think I'm done with him. You think you're completely with, with out Jimmy with Jimmy Graham? No, I'm no, sorry, Greg with Greg Olson. Oh. I think I'm done with Greg Olson. Well, you asked the question, Greg Olson or Jimmy Graham. That's fair. Very fair. <laughs> so I, please don't put – Yeah, because if you're out on Olson, that means you're in on Jimmy Graham. Oh, well, yeah. He's I just totally mean the, la- the last five times you played Greg Olson, you were really disappointed, even in good matchups. What's so. three for 40, man? That's a Darren Waller line. And you're disappointed. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say this is – He was uh, the – Here's here's his last few games going backwards. His his positional finish to speak to Andy. Uh, he was the 22nd tight end, the 32nd tight end, the 14th tight end, the 84th tight end, and the 46th tight end. That so seems th- impossible. The first three weeks, uh, the first three weeks he was he was rather good, especially against Tampa Bay and Arizona. Go figure. The 84th uh, seems arbitrary. Like there were like 27 that played that, that week, was, but that then they're a, like, "Was that a goose?" That was a goose. Yeah. yeah. So you're but just you're with guys that didn't play, right? Basically. Hey, guess what? Click that subscribe button, and I might send you something in the mail. Maybe you should do it.